political analyst and former advisor to the Libyan High Council of State. So thanks for, so much for your time. Just talk us through why Thank the you. Presidential Council made this decision about the foreign minister. Do they even have the legal right to suspend her? Well, for, for, first of all, uh, according to the, uh, uh, to the roadmap, the prerogatives of the uh, uh, Presidential Council, as far as uh, foreign policy is concerned, is stated in point 1.8 of the first article. And it says that the Presidential Council represents Libya in, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, foreign uh, policy as a matter of protocol and not a matter of policy that was left strictly in the hands of the prime minister and uh, his uh, lead advisor on foreign policy, the foreign minister. So it had no legal basis for that. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, sheer stupidity from the uh, presidential council. And I think it comes as the presidential council trying to recover from uh, a, 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 a national reconciliation process that's going nowhere, and after an embarrassing uh, pullback from uh, what it called uh, a proposal or an initiative to resolve the conflict around the legal and constitutional basis for the upcoming elections. Salah, do you foresee more situations like these arising as we get closer to those elections in Libya and uh, this, uh, this tussle between these two sides? Well, the, the precedent to, uh, to the current uh, situation is uh, a decision uh, by the Presidential Council or uh, a, a, an announcement that uh, objected to uh, the, the Foreign Minister and the Prime Minister appointing ambassadors, and it claimed that it's sole prerogatives. Uh, after that, uh, the Presidential Council pulled back and agreed that it's role is a consultative one and not a decision maker one and i think this one is going to go down the same way and the uh, uh, prime minister and the foreign minister are right in ignoring this stupid uh, uh, decision by the uh, presidential council now how is all of this going to play into the paris conference on libya which is taking place on friday and we've got some very high profile names attending that conference looking for uh, at making a way forward in libya that is conducive to both sides well the the, the government made, made it clear for example that it will not attend the conference attended by israel and uh, uh, in consultations with uh, Algeria and Turkey and so on, they have a common position towards an, attempted, uh, an attempt by the French to get a cheap win uh, in this uh, uh, matter after uh, a disastrous policy in Libya for the past five or six years. So uh, uh, the Presidential Council should be aware that such mistakes are hard to recover from because they shake the uh, faith and the confidence of the people in the presidential council, which we expected to be the voice of reason in this tussle between the uh, prime minister and the uh, head of the uh, uh, House of Representatives and the head of the, uh, uh, the uh, high state council. Interesting to see how this will all play out in the coming day. Salah al-Bakush in Tripoli. Thank you so much for your time, sir.